Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into a whole booster box of Time Spiral Remastered. So it's March 20th, 2021. The set just came out this weekend. So before we get into it, let's take a look at the very cool promo here. So this one came with my box. This is a Lotus Bloom artifact. Suspend so three for zero. So rather than cast this card from your hand, pay zero and exile it with three time counters on it. And at the beginning of your upkeep, remove a time counter when the last is removed, cast it without paying its mana cost, tap, Saka, add three mana of any one colour. So some very cool foiling on that one. So let's set that aside, pop it back in its sleeve. Excellent. Alright. So has anyone else cracked open any Time Spiral Remastered? Have you done any drafting yet? Leave a note in the comments. And we've opened some draft packs of this so far. So if you've missed any of the Time Spiral content on the channel, I'll check a link in the corner. You can check it out. I will be trying to put the prices in this video, but just keep in mind they will be completely different by the time you watch the video. So I expect they'll drop quite a bit. Alright, let's get into it. So we are going to be skipping over a lot of the content of these packs. Going straight to the rares and then taking a look at the special borders on the old style card. So we have Muruganda Petroglyphs. It's an interesting one, never heard of it. And Bedlam Reveler. And a spider token. So I'll set those over there. So those are these so-called time-shifted borders, so they're taking like newer cards and then putting an old-school border on it. Okay, and we do get a very cool fungus sliver. Any sliver fans out there? Leave a note in the comments. And a leveler! Nice! Really liking the old-style artwork there. And no way! Foil! Bloodbraid! Elf! Holy moly, it's pretty hard to get the foil versions, but this is fantastic. Check it out. Crazy pull right off the bat. And we do get a very cool goblin token. Okay, I think that is sleeve worthy. I could be wrong. It could be totally worthless, but let's put it in the sleeve just the same. On to the next pack. So what is the pull rate of those foils? Is it one per box or more than that? I guess we'll find out shortly. Okay, skipping this stuff. And I've seen this one before. Walk the Eons. Treasure Cruise. And a Metallic Sliver token. Nice. Really liking the tokens in this set. And stay tuned in the coming week. We'll be slowing down a bit and enjoying all the commons and uncommons soaking up what the set has to offer but today we just want to get through things as quick as we can not as quick as Rudy however we've got a Lotus Bloom so the regular artwork there along with Quizali Pride Mage Foil Nantuko Shaman and a Soldier Token okay so we'll have separate foils so there are 36 packs in these boxes, they go for about 200 US, I think I paid a bit less than that, but yeah, that's about the going rate. I expect it will climb to 300 in the next couple of weeks, there seems to be a bit of a supply shortage, so hopefully they can sort that out. We've got Kovac the Merciless, along with Vandal Blast, nice, saw that one already, and a Sapraling. Did anyone actually play back in the Time Spiral block when this first came out? This was well before I started playing. Okay, we have Mangara of Corondor. Corondor. And Everflowing Chalice. Love that artwork. And a Griffin token. And if you like the old school artwork, the old sets, I'll pop a link in the corner so we went through magic history starting with Commander Legends going all the way back to Antiquities and this coming week we have some craziness we've got the Dark Antiquities 
uh, revised Fallen Empires and Legends. So looking forward to getting stuck into that. Next up we have Sengir Nosferatu, Elvish Mystic, Foil Pit Keeper, and an Assembly Worker. They really went all out on those tokens. Holy cow. Those really pop. Okay, next packet. Makes it a little difficult without having the rares up the front like they do with the Japanese printed ones. We've got Dryad Arbor. Not bad. Hollow One in the old school border. That's pretty cool. And a Kobold. And I think this is a misprint. It was supposed to say Kobolds of Core Keep. But they've just labelled it as Kobold. So I wonder if they'll do a uh, reprint of those maybe not if this was just a single printing i guess it depends how the sales look all right we have a pulmonic sliver nature's claim oh foil mythic holy moly tamagoyf good to see you mate it's been a while ho ho Okay, another sleeve-worthy pull and a goblin. So let's break up the sleeves. I'm liking this box already. I don't know if we've paid for it yet, but uh, if we keep going at this rate, that should not be a problem at all. Maybe you can see why the box prices are creeping up. Okay, skipping all the uncommons and commons. Alright, we've got Magus of the Future, Abrupt Decay, nice, with the old school artwork, another Crazy Paul, and Lanoir Elves. And I hope I have enough sleeves here because this is getting pretty crazy. On to the next, and we're not even a third of the way through it, and we're looking a bit like this bloke. Like, what is happening? Okay, next we have Tomb Stalker. I don't think I've ever seen that artwork before. Very cool. And Young Pyromancer. It's not a foil, no. Nope. And White Mane Lion. Oh, and a Bat Token. Can't miss the tokens. Okay, so a third of the way through the box. Making decent time. Simeon Spirit Guides in here. Cool. And yes, it's from the pack design. This is what I thought. So we have Stuffy Doll. Along with Sylvan Scrying and Sapraling Token. So that first third is going to be pretty tough to top. We've got an Urza's Factory here, by the way. And like I said, we'll be uh, slowing down in the coming week, looking at everything. All right, Nether Traitor for the rares. Along with Exquisite Firecraft. And Radha Air to Keld. So the old style artwork there. We've got a foil rare and a metallic sliver token. And these packs are interesting. They sort of want to disintegrate so I wonder what's up with that has anyone else noticed and one other thing I've heard people say the uh, cards are curving out of the pack the non foils as well I haven't noticed that yet but I'll keep an eye on it Venza Shaper Savant for the rare along with Tide Hollow Sculler and Lanoir Elves fantastic artwork on that one is there any token that does not have fantastic artwork? That is the question. I don't think I've seen one yet. Okay, next packet we've got Angel's Grace. True name Nemesis Old School Border. Yes, that is legit. Too bad it's not a foil. I think that guy's dropped a fair bit. And a sapling. And True Name Nemesis, you know what, let's chuck him in a sleeve. You can hear people screaming, why didn't you put this other one in a sleeve? Uh, maybe I didn't know the value at the time. 
a good indication if I'm not jumping up and down I'm just clueless so that happens from time to time you'd think I'd open enough packs but uh, this era I've opened very little okay extirpate I think this is what I pulled from uh, Time Spiral the original and Master of the Pearl Trident for the uh, what are they calling those old school borders time shifted yes I've got a soldier so now we're about halfway through the box. Things are slowing down a bit. Mog War Marshal Creature Goblin Warrior. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing all the goblins in here as we take a look at everything. We've got a Sedge Sliver. Talrand Sky Summoner. Foil Think Twice. And a Night Token. Excellent artwork as always. On to the next one. Okay, we've got Reiterate. Zulaport Cutthroat, that brings back memories. That's around the time I was playing in Standard. And Assembly Worker. Actually, I should say, when I, around the time I got started playing, I started in Armin Ket. And uh, we had like BFZ, Oath of the Gatewatch, I think Kaladesh, Aether Revolt. All of that was in standard at the time. So when did you start playing? Leave a note in the comments. I'm curious what sort of range we have of players. We've got a hive stone, cranial plating, that is legit. Check it out. And a goblin token. Okay, so I'm looking forward to this. I've only got four boxes, but the patrons will be gobbling the rest of those up, so. Never fear, we will be having plenty more openings to come. Oh, nice! Hypergenesis, it's a mythic! Okay, so we'll pop the mythic down there. Have we seen any other mythics? I'm not sure. Sorceress, Spyglass, and Sapling. Let's just do a quick check here. I don't think we have. Uh, we did get that foil. Tarmogoyf though, so that's got to count for something. Okay, skipping ahead to the Swarm Yard. I'm not sure what I'm looking at there, it looks pretty gross, whatever it is. Felden of the Third Path and an insect token. There's something else gross. I hope you're not eating your lunch right now or your dinner. Okay, we've got a Sting Scourger creature Goblin Warrior. I like the face on that dude. Okay, and we do get another Red Heart, <coughs> excuse me, Red Heart Heart, or not Heart, Air to Keld. Beast Whisperer, Foil Crosan Grip, nice foilage there, and an Ape Token. Oh, we've got the Ape, we've got Goblins, we've got all sorts of crazy stuff. So we've got Mears apparently. That's a Viashino, I thought it might have been a Goblin. And another Mythic, Vesuva. Alright, very cool artwork on that one. We've got a land, angel of the gods, anger of the gods, and a foil sting scourger creature goblin warrior. Nice to see him. Yes, bit of a goblin fan if you're new to the channel. I don't know what it is. Something about him just amuses me. Okay, so what else do we got here? We've got a cool angel Sarah Avenger. Ancient Stirrings, not bad at all. And a Cloud Sprite. Okay, so the final third of the box. Let's move this pile a little bit. Okay, see if we can get anything as crazy as that foil Tarmogoyf. And what was the other thing? The Blood Braid Elf, that was pretty crazy. <clears throat> Okay, so I've seen this one already. We've got a Vesuvan Shapeshifter that was in the box the other day. Liliana's Triumph. Very nice with the old school border there and Sapling. So 
So I'm really hoping they do more printings of this so we can open more because I like the look of it so far. Oh, I skipped right past the the uh, rare here. We've got Cloud Key. That's pretty cool artwork. Zealous Conscripts. Foil, Death Spore, Thalid and a Giant Token. So what is the craziest pull you've had out of Time Spiral Remastered so far? Leave a note in the comments. You got any of those foil uh, uh, time shifted cards? And a mythic Teferi Mage of Zalfir. Good to see him. Okay, so he is like the fourth mythic. And Dovin's Veto, thou shall not pass. And a Griffin. Okay, the spice has returned. Let the spice flow indeed. As we get toward the end of the box. We've got Jaya Ballad Task Mage. The young Jaya Ballad. Monastery Swift Spear. That's looking pretty spiffy. And a Goblin. And we're definitely not looking like this guy. We are doing pretty well, I would say. Okay, what is this? Thelon of Havenwood. The train creature elf druid. Feather the Redeemed. Very nice. And an assembly worker. Okay, let's get through here. To, ooh, Slaughter Pact, Gruesome, and Grenzo Dungeon Warden, the dry creature, Goblin Rogue, nice, I will treasure that one, and a bat, yes, I'll have to put him in the Goblin Collection, been a while since we've done one of those, if you missed the previous one, I'll chuck a link in the corner, that was, uh, over a year ago now, getting close to two years, I think. Things have changed quite a bit since then. Okay, we've got Ith High Arcanist. Solemn Simulacrum, looking very regal there and distinguished. And another Kobold. So we have five packs to crack. Uh, let's see, four Mythics. So... We may be due for one more Mythic, I would say. So let's see if we can increase the tally. Okay, so next up we have Coalition Relic. Leyline of the Void, nice. I think this is sleeve worthy. We'll sleeve it up in a moment. Foil, Haze of Rage, and a Sapling. Where does he go? He goes over there, grab the sleeves. Okay, so we've just got four more packs. I was hoping to keep the video under 20 minutes. Don't know if we'll make that, unfortunately, but you know what? That's the way it is. Angel of Salvation, Thraben Inspector, and an Insect. On the home stretch now, people, and I will be popping up the total value of the box at the time of filming. So we can see how well we did. But like I said, that will be dropping quite, quite a bit. Kerr Keep, and here's the thing, it creates creature tokens named Kobolds of Kerr Keep. So that was a definite misprint. And a Wastes in the old school border. Nice, not a foil though. And Spider Token. So on the whole, I think this box has treated us pretty well. So yeah, we did get the four mythics, including a foil Tarmogoyf. Oh, is that another? That's another mythic. Holy moly. A Chroma Angel of Fury. Look at that artwork. Tremendous. Okay, Yorgmoth Thran Physician. Another cool pull. Foil Banalish Cavalry. And a cloud sprite. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay. Skirt Shaman, Creature, Goblin Shaman. And what is the final card here? So we have Heartwood Storyteller. 
So I've got a couple of those already. Mystic Sanctuary. Nice. That's looking pretty spiffy. And a goblin to round things out. So there we have it. Let me know what you think of the set. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.